Before making an improvement, let's review what we know about the tube bells. It uses algorithm 5, which has three towers. Frequency of towers 1 and 2 have the same bell in harmonic content. Ditching for towers 1 and 2 are opposite, giving a smooth chorusing effect. Envelopes for towers 1 and 2 are the same. Tower 3 is used for attack. Keyboard rate scaling is applied slightly to all operators. Output levels are adequate, producing enough modulation at maximum volume. Key velocity sensitivity is applied only to operator 5, controlling the volume of attack. So before making any changes to the tube belts, Think about how you may be able to improve the original sound. For this exercise, we will aim to retain its original tonal characteristics. What we know about the tube bells is that the original sound has a smooth chorusing effect, and its attack is not very obvious. Based on that, one simple change that we can make is to have more prominent and solid attack for the tube bells. So, where do we start? The most obvious parameter that you want to look into is envelope generator, e.g. Let's revise what we've learned so far. Remember what we've discovered in the tutorial, Sound Design via Tube Bells Part 2. The tube belt sound has faster attack rate and its volume and modulation is done at level 1. It has a slow decay rate for the bell tone. Rate 3 and level 3 are redundant. It has a slow release for the bell tone. Tower 3 with operators 5 and 6 have faster overall envelopes, hence producing attack tone only. Let's visualize the tube bell's envelope. Ignoring light 3 and level 3, the original envelope is simple, as it has only one decay by light 2 and level 2. The problem with this type of envelope is that an initial sharp and solid attack is not emulated, as attack and decay is the same, using rate 1 and level 1 only. Remember from the tutorial sound design, Tube Bells Part 2? The DX7 has flexible envelopes, as you can use both rate 2 and level 2, as well as rate 3 and level 3 as decay. This means that we can create sharp and solid attack using both rate 1, level 1, and rate 2, and level 2. We can visualize the new envelope. Rate 1 and level 1 remain the same, but rate 2 will have a faster decay to create initial solid metallic attack. Level 2 will be higher than zero, so that you have enough modulation for metallic attack and slow decay. Rate 3 will be less than 71 to create slow decay. As there will be no sustain, level 3 will be zero. So which rate and level do we need to change? We don't need to change rate 1, level 1, and rate 4, level 4. So our focus is rate 2, level 2, and rate 3, level 3. Let's get started. We only need to change operators 1, 2, 3, and 4. We can switch off operators 5 and 6. We can also start on operators 1 and 2. So turn operators 3 and 4 
off. Press 21 and 22 as well as operators select to access each operator's envelope. We will start with operator 1. Select operator 1 and rate 2. At the moment, rate 2 is 33, which is slow decay. We will keep it as is at the moment. For level 2, change it to a higher value. Try from 95, 90, 85, and 80. Let's listen to those changes. At the moment, it almost sounds like a gate effect. Because rate 3 is too fast, so it has very fast decay. The reason why you need to have level 2 lower than level 1 is that if level 2 is equal to level 1, which is 99, you have level 1 and level 2 acting as single attack. So, set level 2 equal to 95 as you only need a bit of attack. Now, we will change rate 3 to slower decay from 50, 30, 20, and 10. Let's hear those changes. Based on what we hear, rate 3 at 30 seems just right. Set to level 3 equals 0, so there is no sustain at level 3. This means that the overall decay stops at level 3. Now, we are moving to operator 2. When you look at rate 2, which is 12, it has very slow decay. For sharp attack, you need to have fast decay. Try from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Let's hear those changes. As you noticed, the faster the decay rate is, the shorter the envelope becomes. At rate 2, which is 70, it's just a percussive sound. So, set rate 2 to 60 as it has good attack. Change level 2 to a higher value. Try 95, 90, 
85 and 80. Let's hear those changes. Remember, you need to have a level 2 lower than level 1 to have attack and decay. What will happen to the sound? It almost sounds like a gate effect, as rate 3 is too fast. We will set level 2 at 95, as we only need a bit of attack, but still need a higher frequency modulation level for decay. We will change rate 3 to slower decay. Try 50, 30, 20, and 10. Let's hear those changes. Based on what we hear, rate 3 should be at 10. We will set level 3 to 0, so there is no sustain. Now we copy new envelopes to operators 3 and 4 using egg copy function. Press button 21 and use operator select to choose an operator. Press store and use operator on off to copy an envelope to corresponding carrier and modulator. Once completed, operators 1 and 3 have the same envelope. Operators 2 and 4 have the same envelope. But you will notice that the overall sound is softer despite having sharper attack. Let's revise what we've done so far. We made changes to envelope generator to provide sharper attack by using the DX7 flexible envelope generator. We used egg copy function to copy envelopes and the overall tone became softer. So what we need to do to make the sound brighter again? We can make changes to modulator output levels. So what happened was that when we changed the modulator envelopes, they reached to level 2 quickly. As level 2 is 95, there is a slight decrease in frequency modulation output level. Yes, modulation level is controlled by both envelopes and output levels. This means that we can control the amount of modulation applied to operators 2 and 4 by adjusting their output levels accordingly. Press button 27 and operator select to cycle through operators 1, 2, 3 and 4. We will only adjust output level for operators 2 and 4. 
we will add one value for both operators at a time. By adding 4 to both operators, you get the identical modulation level of the original sound. One thing that you need to be very careful about is that output level is very sensitive to changes above 70. If you add 10 to these operators, you will have too much frequency modulation. So let's compare the original and the new one by pressing Edit Compare button. When red LED flashes, you are hearing the original sound. Now, we've just made a new tube bells patch. You can store this patch in your DX7 or other devices. We've made simple changes to envelopes to have both attack and decay. We've adjusted output levels of modulators to make the overall sound brighter like the original. And we've learned that envelopes and output levels go hand in hand. You can pause here to do self-learning tutorial. You need to think about what else you can do to make further improvements, especially focusing on priority parameters. You can try changing a few priority parameters and learn how these changes affect the overall tone. You can think about whether changing low priority parameters will make a big difference in the overall tone. You can try changing a few of them and learn how these changes affect the overall tone. For our next tutorial, we will look into the fundamentals of FM synthesis algorithm beyond groups.